Good morning. It's going to be a beautiful day today and even warmer than it was yesterday. Mostly sunny skies, temperatures in the low 40s as we head toward the 9 o'clock hour. We'll be near 60 already by your lunch hour, then heading home for work. Temperatures in the mid 60s with breezy conditions for the metro area, but the windiest conditions will be found across the eastern and southern part of New Mexico. And with the dry air that's in place, relative humidity is below 15%. There is that increased risk for fire danger to the areas here in pink and red. Uh, that is under a red flag warning. For, so for Silver City, Carlsbad, Roswell for today, areas in tan here under a fire weather watch with the most critical period between 2 and 4 o'clock today with those temperatures really heating up and those winds uh, starting to gust up above 25 miles per hour. And of course here in yellow, the Sangre de Cristo Mountains under a wind advisory where winds could gust higher than 35 miles per hour, but it's going to get even windier tomorrow and I'll talk about that coming up later on. Temperatures this morning, chilly out there, but not too tough to take. 41 in Las Vegas, 38 in the metro right now in the low to mid 30s in the southeast. It's going to get even warmer today. We'll take a look at those numbers coming up later. From our weather blitz to our morning news blitz now. The U.S. Army is admitting that a New Mexico soldier and four of his buddies might still be alive if their officers had done their jobs correctly. Two Army officers have been disciplined for failing to give Army Sergeant Kenneth Westbrook of Shiprock the backup and air support his unit was desperately calling for before the attack. Governor Susana Martinez went before the state legislature yesterday to speak in favor of expanding DNA testing in New Mexico. The expansion of Katie's Law would require testing of anyone arrested for any felony. One lawmaker's push to raise taxes on sodas dried up. State Senator Gerald Ortiz Epino wanted to hike taxes on sweetened drinks to help pay for rising Medicaid costs. But the idea was too hard to swallow for his colleague. And a large fiberglass sculpture that cost taxpayers $50,000 is missing from a park near Tramway and Lomas. The city of Albuquerque is offering a reward for information that leads to the return of the cactus. And that's this morning's News Blitz.